What is up, guys? We're carrying on from 1009. Opponent is Manas 2019. And is that UAE? Yeah, from the UAE. Okay. Um, right, somebody said, could I do a speed run thing using some more solid openings like the French or the Caro Khan or something like that? So. Let's mix it up. I mean, rather than play the Freddy Krueger repertoire as black, I'm, I'm loving the Retty as white. I want to keep that. Um, okay. So I'm just going to play this. They take, I can take back with the queen. I'll probably get kicked away. But this is okay. If knight comes to c3, I can't go here either. So I don't know. What, what are we thinking? Now, I don't know any kind of theory or anything here, so I'm just going to retreat. And at first sight, yeah, this doesn't look great for, for black. But I'm hoping that with solid play, we can keep the situation. Right now, c6 is very natural looking. It'll force the bishop away, um, blocking that diagonal off. However, it does make my own light squared bishop very poor. So I'm thinking maybe bishop d7, try and trade him off instead. It's also a very kind of forcing move. I mean, not completely, because if I... Oh, hello. Okay, I take knight takes, queen d5. Would fork both knights, would it not? Um, but then knight here, oof. Takes, takes. Queen there is tempting, but the knight there is a family fork. <laughs> so that's not very nice at all. So how about this? See, I've got a lot of pawns on light squares here, so... Wow. That's a checkmate threat. Jesus. He's throwing everything at me, isn't he? So yeah, if I just snatch and take the bishop now, queen takes f7 is mate. So I think I have to block here. The other alternative is knight h6. But I think I'd rather have the knight in a more central position. And um, okay, so what's going to happen here? I, I don't mind this at all. Um, and the bishop's going to have to move away, surely. See, with these pawns on, <clears throat> on light squares, <coughs> makes my light squared bishop a poorer piece. B5 is tempting with tempo. Um, I can't hit the queen right now with that. Maybe this, but it may be. I mean, the knight's undefended. So what would my opponent do? Maybe it'll prompt him to take the bishop. If he goes here or here or, you know, the knight is lost, he can't take there either. What are you going to do? Take the bishop? I'll probably take that with the knight, probably castle. If I take and takes, my pawn is blocking this bishop off, right? But then again, this is my good bishop. I could just castle here. And do this with tempo again. Force the bishop backwards. I don't see any great value in that. Also creates a, a backwards pawn on c6. I just castle. Very aggressive play from white. Surprising. Bishop's undefended, but not attacked. God. Okay, so now this this would be a big mistake because then there's a pawn attacking my pin piece. So I'd really like, like to get my knight there. So how do we do this? <sighs> the problem of the French bishop. Oh, 
I don't really. I don't think kicking the bishop there doesn't make any sense. Because also, if he takes, 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 I've peeled open my king. So maybe I need to come back. Yeah. I really want him to take this. And he's playing 11, 12 seconds is the longest he's taken over a move. I'd love it if he took that. No, you're not going to. Denied. Okay, can I do that? Takes away the defender of the knight, though. If I should move the knight, then we have tension between these bishops. Also allows the queen to... No, it doesn't. Duh. If we trade... takes pawn takes then then my bishop is free um that tradey tradey that bishop takes same deal i think that i think i need to give myself some breathing space here i think that's the way to go okay and now we, what we've done is that's been a bit of a, I think, a pressure valve release here. I could, what, 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 blunder, surely. Two attackers. Free bishop. Yeah, because that one's defended. Wowzers in my trousers. Also notice if, if takes here, I have to take that with the knight because um, the queen defends the bishop. And there we have it, guys. We have our mistake. Uncharacteristic, because my, my opponent has just developed the kitchen sink in my direction. This is a fork on rook and knight. Mm, this is trapped, right? So I'd like to do that. But I can't because of the knight. Now I could think about taking out the knight first. Like this, rook moves, take out the knight. Pawn takes. Bishop here. He can't block with a pawn. Well, he can. <laughs> this bishop has now come altogether to life, eh? Or I could just do this as well. Hit this knight. Also defends g7. Not that there's huge threat because there's no bishops left. I could just challenge the knight with knight c6. Which I like. Also hits this pawn. Which is very, very often the focus of black's attention in the French defence. Okay, do we want a pawn or a bishop? I'm thinking pawn. Capturing towards the centre, the pawn can move on and go, go on about his day. How, having said that, bishop... Yeah, bishop, I think. Queen still defends this. Right, now we have a two bishops versus one knight ending. And happy pawns, in many ways. So I might think about kind of trying to disturb this knight, get my bishop on there. C4 isn't playable, just takes and the see this is the problem when you when you move the wrong rook over, you can you can get a rook trapped with nowhere to go. And if there's a diagonal, mmm. I'm not quite happy about the fact that this bishop is almost undefended. I think bishop f6 isn't a bad thing. Defends that, attacks that. There's there's white junk down this diagonal, you know? 
Here's the bishop options. Who's snoring? Are you snoring, Woody? You've got fluff on your nose as well. <laughs> yeah, it's a pickle now. But I'm surprised just how quick white came out of the blocks. I mean, did I just did I just misplay those first few moves entirely? I don't know. But you see, one one false move. Okay, so thing with thing is with this. So what's happening here? Well, it's a discovered overwhelm. Oh, he's abandoned. Okay. Well, let's have a quick look. I think that could be insightful. Let's go over to the analysis board. All right, here we are. And uh, add games. I, I'd like to be blunder free. Not my Dragon Boy. Yes, I will be your friend. SBO010, of course. All right. So, okay. So a couple of blunders by my opponent. Look how tight that opening was, man. So this is a guy who's sub 1000, played 1300. And it's given me 1600 with a slight inaccuracies in the opening. So let's have a look. Flip the board. Okay, D5 book move. Oh, pawn takes was the move, eh? I, di I didn't even consider pawn takes. I know. Right, so now we've got a Scandinavian style of move the, the queen back. Excellent move. Excellent move. Inaccurate. And that's a mistake. Hang on. Should have just traded off. But then after this, I mean, obviously that would have been a, a thunder blunder, wouldn't it? <laughs> Because of that, this is this one, the the family fork. So royal fork is king and queen. You chuck a rook in there, it's a family fork. Um, and here here we're okay. Here is is very equal position. It's saying it's saying c six or, or knight d seven, and we're okay. Okay, but so from here, I did that. It says you should have traded off the bishop bishops, yeah, which was definitely a, a good idea. Um, but I did this, and it's a mistake because bishop c4? I don't know. I mean, look, I have really imprisoned this bishop, and this, this is definitely a already, on move 7, a positional, serious positional weakness. Okay, queen comes out with a checkmate threat. Okay. It's saying that's a mistake as well. Queen f6. Different developing move because I don't know. Okay, here putting pressure directly on the knights is bishop b7, slightly better marginal there, and d4 still very strong. But look how white is just everything's flying out into the board with threats. This is very very good. Castles is best. Okay. That's an interesting one. Bishop e8, right? It's saying this is best. But then if takes... The queen takes and g takes... Then yes, we have an exposed king. But there's no queen in the neighbourhood, right? That's, that's the thing. You know, I've taken towards the centre. I've got... Mm, I've still got the bishop pair as well. My pawns ain't too bad, you know. And it's saying it's an equal position here. Fascinating stuff. Um, but that's not what I played. I, I, I decided to fend with this bishop, which is also excellent, so shut up. Castles is fine. This is fine. So again, white is slightly in front here. And that that's inaccurate. And now he's just failed to see that this bishop is attacked two times. Right, there's a queue of people lining up to kick that bishop. And that's just a blunder and loses the game. And that's what happens. That is why we need to look out for these things. So let's go back, let's do another game. All right, we're up to 10.33. I'm gonna play another game. Are we gonna get white, are we gonna get black? What are we gonna have? We're gonna have a rarity. Ludex 6 is 590 rated from Poland. 
Five ninety. Oh, and this this is okay. This Caro v v v v v version. All right, and I think what we do is we fianchetto the bishop, and then we're going to play c5, c4. I had this, didn't I, the other day? So this is the king's Indian attack. I don't know if I should castle first. We'll, we'll, we'll find out. But basically, I just want to fracture this, this pawn chain here. And now I'm going to go ahead and castle and get my knight out. Uh, and what, one thing that's kind of interesting about this opening is it's kind of a bit like the English. And, you know, you, you, get, you get options for what you want to do with your central pawns. Okie cokey. So opponent has put a pawn on e6. It's slightly in this bishop's way. What that knight's doing there is unclear. I'm a pawn down, but I've castled. Black has got no kingside development at all. So what we should do now, um, I mean, one principle, uncastle king, castle king, hit the center. That, that's what we want to do, bash, bash. What can we do? Right, so that's, that's one idea. Another idea is we should develop rapidly and see if we can launch an attack before black has the opportunity to castle. So that move like knight c3. Hmm. Where does it go from there? Where do we go now? So what I'm thinking is something like b3, bishop b2, saying screw the material, right? Now, I, I'm playing a 590, but never, never underestimate your opponent. The power of the dark side. If he takes here, I've got queen takes. I'm still a pawn down. Or oh, but gambit style. Okay, a4. And this is not the ready gambit. Here, here, these, that's very awkward pawnage. Very awkward pawnage. I could just ignore it all. I mean, if I take here, I'll probably take back, yeah. And queen here, I'm targeting this pawn. Oh, I like this move. The reason I like this move is because we're tying this guy down to the defense of this pawn. Right, so if this bishop tries to develop now, it's bye bye rook. <clears throat> okay. Also, notice this pawn is <coughs> backwards, un indefensible by any other pawn, right? And it's potentially pinned. Should this knight move, hello, right? Uh, knight. Take, take. Queen c2. Hits this pawn. This potentially knight just takes. Go on, let's do this. Queen c2 doesn't hit the pawn, I mean, but there's another pawn be behind it. And, you know, black is still up material. But material is immaterial a lot of the time. And the more I study, the, the more I realize um, although Stockfish has a real bias towards material, because Stockfish can play perfect chess, practically, compared to humans, um, in the real world, they ain't the same. Should this knight move, I, I then do have the e5 square for my knight. Also, it takes one defender away from this guy. Meaning that the queen and the g-pawn are the only defenders. So we are playing in a gambit style. He can't go there to defend the pawn because I take it. Okay, now I could just snatch the pawn. I think that was probably a wise-ish move from, from Black. All right, Jensen, kicking your way in. And, um, but I don't think there's a call right now. I'm sure the fish would disagree, but honestly, screw the fish. 
Um, I don't think there's a call right now to to snatch the pawn back. I'm looking at moves like this, yeah, or maybe this. Actually, knight here. I'm threatening to capture here with a fork on the queen and there. Right, is that enough to stop him castling? I take this. The queen has to move out to one of these. Two. Can't go there. Then I take the bishop. If he's castled, that wins the bishop outright. So that's what I'm going to do. And what's more, oh, 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 monkey gibbon. Remember this and the fact that it's kind of pinned? Well, it is pinned now. Ain't no kinder about it, it's pinned. Hang on. Hang on. What the? It says down here, new game. <coughs> Mr. Bendy Wendy. Nearly 500 points high rated. Win. Minus four. Draw plus 21. Lose plus 46. What? Okay, so he's... Do, he's He's saying, I'm going to lose points for winning the game. Okay, now I do have two attackers on this pawn. So if I take here, we're hitting the queen, right? Bishop takes, if bishop takes, we've pinned the knight. Or I could take with the bishop, threatening this bishop outright. If the bishop takes me, I've got knight takes it in the queen and this. Um, I still have this in my pocket. So let's have a think. Take this, probably bishop takes. Bishop takes, rook shall move. Knight's pinned, but doesn't make any difference because it's well defended and the king can just castle. Bishop takes. I'm threatening the bishop outright, so it's either the queen has to move, you know, to defend, but then I'm also attacking this. But I'm also giving up my Fianchetto Bishop, but then we're, you know, we're, we're going to have tension on the long diagonal between the Fianchetto Bishops anyway. Bishop takes pawn. Bishop takes down. Queen. Doing it. Also, we, we might still snatch this pawn. Attacking this, attacking this. If he just goes ahead and castles, now he loses the bishop. So he could, you know, that's not an option. Can he move the bishop out of the way? No, he loses his rook. So I think, yeah, kind of has to take. And still, it's, it's still objective prevent the bugger from castling. Now the queen's under attack. The queen has to move to one of these squares, not this one, or, or in fact, this one. So she's, she's only got one, two, three squares where she can go. Now, if I take the bishop, the king is the only one who's going to be able to recapture because we are deflecting the queen now away from the defense of the bishop. So wherever she goes, the lady, I could do this and prevent castling for good. That is no bad thing. Um, if the queen comes here, she's attacking this bishop, but... Right now, the bishop's defended by my queen. That's that's not the end of the world. That's okay. And in fact, after this and this, I, I could even just eradicate my other thing, and even, maybe even bring the king out to them. And we blunder. <sighs> Holding out for a blunder. Sorry, sent misclick. I'm going to offer a draw. Alpha draw. I mean, it's a, it's a completely lost position anyway, but. I mean, he took 52 seconds. How do you take nearly a minute and then misclick? Okay. So what happened there? I won, game abandoned. I don't, what the hell is going on with chess.com? I don't know. Right, let's, let's have a look at this one as well, because I think this one would be interesting. 13 moves.
Come on, looking for a nice accuracy. I'd love an 80. Ooh! Ow. 92.4 with a miss. Where is my miss? Can I do a happy dance? 2100. And dude played 1350 according to the fish. Okay. Alpha Retti Spaghetti. Let's go. Okay. Normal. Normality. He's going for a Caro structure. I'm going for a King's Indian attack. Okay. That's okay. And C4. Excellent move. Thank you very much. I remembered it. I didn't make it up. Okay, we castle. It's all excellent play. Very, very tight so far. Here. This is okay. Yeah. Nah, well, it's put you a point four of a pawn difference, but... And this is mistake. Okay, but here, what should I have done? Oh, yeah, I should have tried. I mean, we did look at that. We did look at that. Um, but I just decided to go for the kind of activity. 0.8 of a pawn difference here. Okay, knight, gf6. Then we trade ski. Queen c2. It likes. Bishop here. Knight now coming into the fray, threatening this pawn. Best move here. Yeah, that is ugly. No question, it's ugly, but it really wants to come up. But, you know, again, we've connected the rooks, haven't we? Right, which which my move did not do. Um, yeah, and that was best. Shouldn't have done that. Whoa. Should just defend it, eh? And he just blunders there. But good, good, good. There we go. Two games, two nice wins. What it's done to my to my numbers, I, I've no idea. It doesn't really matter. Um, but we're enjoying playing the Retty. <sighs> the French, I don't know. Is the French played by people who actually enjoy chess? I don't know. It's kind of a masochistic opening for me. It's it's a French. I think is hard for both sides to play. I feel like the Dutch as well. You know, it's just one of those. Yeah. Tricky ones, but hey, you know, we'll, we'll keep mixing it up. We'll keep mixing it up with black. I'm going to stick with the Retty for white. We'll, we'll just, well, I'll play some random shit with black um, and see, see how we get on. Yeah, hope you enjoyed that one, guys. Uh, nice couple of wins. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon.